Taurine, in a recently published study, extended mice lifespan by 10 to 12% and up to 23% in worms. Taurine is already found in energy drinks and many athletes supplement it up to 6 grams a day, so should we do the same? It's a semi-essential micronutrient and it's one of the most abundant amino acids found in the body, particularly in skeletal muscle where it improves mitochondrial function. Low levels of taurine during early life significantly impairs our skeletal muscle, eye function and central nervous system. And as we age, there's a steady decline in taurine levels. So given the decline in taurine levels during aging and its known health effects, this study aimed to find out whether taurine deficiency is a driver of aging and whether it affects healthy lifespan. They started by measuring the taurine concentrations in blood at different ages in mice, monkeys and humans, where they confirmed the steady decrease in taurine levels and in humans the taurine concentrations decreased by more than 80% compared to younger individuals. So what happened when the mice were given taurine? They were given taurine at a dose of 1000 milligrams per kilogram of body weight, which is roughly the equivalent to 3 to 6 grams of taurine for a normal 80 kilogram person. They found that regardless of gender, the taurine fed mice they survived longer compared to the control mice, so about 10 to 12% lifespan extension. And it's crucial to note that during the experiment, both the control and the taurine fed mice, they had unlimited access to the same food, so the improved survival of the taurine fed mice, it was not a consequence of low survival of the control animals or differences in diet. Let's have a deeper look at these results because there's a crucial point we need to address. During the experiment, the taurine treatment, it suppressed the age associated body weight gain by about 10%. So did the taurine supplements simply reduce weight and that's how there was a lifespan extension? Hold that question in your mind. The authors also found that taurine treatment increased bone mass as well as grip strength. Furthermore, the taurine treated mice showed less depression-like behavior compared with the controls as well as less anxiety and in the Y maze test it showed that the taurine treated mice had a higher natural curiosity for exploration compared with the control mice. Finally, the mice also had improved insulin sensitivity. So it's very difficult to tease out if taurine results in a true anti-aging effect or whether it's simply reducing the weight gain as we get older and improving strength. Both of those are awesome effects but it might not be targeting aging per se and that's an important distinction. When we look at the monkey results we see similar findings where the monkeys that received taurine they gained less body weight as they got older. Moving to the discussion, taurine abundance it decreases in the blood and and tissues during aging. We found that a reversal of this decline through taurine supplementation increased markers of healthy lifespan in worms and mice as well as the health span in monkeys. Human trials are warranted to examine whether taurine supplementation increases healthy lifespan in humans. So let's have a look at those trials that we've got today. Overall, they're conflicting. We've got one meta-analysis showing improvements in blood pressure and cholesterol levels, but no effect on blood sugar levels. Then we've got a separate meta-analysis showing the opposite effects, where there were benefits in blood sugar levels, but no effect on cholesterol or blood pressure. It's equally difficult to interpret the exercise research, where one meta-analysis showed a significant association between higher taurine levels and exercise performance. But that analysis is confounded because it was using energy drinks, and those energy drinks Yes, they had taurine in them, but they had many other ingredients as well. An analysis done by the International Society of Sports Nutrition concluded that we've got limited and varied findings that prohibit definitive conclusions regarding the efficacy of taurine on aerobic and anaerobic performance. What does appear robust is the safety research. Where the existing data does not indicate any safety concerns from taurine supplementation, so Taurine appears safe. In monkeys and in mice, it seems to reduce the weight associated gain as we get older and it improves exercise performance. Whether the lifespan improvements were due to those effects or something else is unclear. Since taurine is found in skeletal muscle, rich sources of dietary taurine come from the consumption of animal proteins. So given that I don't have much animal protein in my diet, would I supplement with taurine? Well, the evidence in humans is weak, but when I first looked at taurine a few years ago, I was very intrigued, particularly because it can be paired with magnesium. Magnesium has to be paired with something to stabilize it. That's why we've got many different forms of magnesium supplements, such as magnesium citrate, magnesium l 3 innate and magnesium taurinate. So I've used magnesium taurinate supplements for many years now, because you may as well pair magnesium with something that might be useful to the body.
It's well absorbed by the body, and it's part of the multivitamin and multimineral that I designed and personally take. Link is in the pinned comment. In this supplement, there's 120 milligrams of elemental magnesium in the form of magnesium taurinate. And since the elemental magnesium in magnesium taurinate amounts to about 18.4%, there's roughly 500 milligrams in that supplement already. Usual caveat though, just because I take a supplement does not in any way mean that you should as well. I'm simply reporting on what I'm personally doing based on the research that we've got today. Let me know in the comments what you're going to do about taurine. Are you going to take dedicated taurine supplements? Are you going to take it as a combination with magnesium like I do? Or are you going to wait for more human research? And make sure to check out this next video here on all of the reasons for why I take magnesium supplements. A massive thank you to donotage.org for their $10,000 donation to my rapamycin study. They are a health research organization and to benefit from the ingredients as well as the 10% discount code, check out the pinned comment.